Alright, welcome to the second episode. Uh, the game crashed the last episode, um, so yeah. But we're gonna continue this epic story of intrigues and, uh, I guess, plot twists and our greatest enemy to overcome it, uh, the clicking outside of the screen. And the game crashing. Which is, it doesn't do every single time, but sometimes it does. So that's quite nice. Well, it's not nice, but it's annoying as fuck, so... Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. <gasps> oh my god. <coughs> Don't we have to click that one room though? I think this game is quite easy to speedrun by the way, like you just have to move your mouse clockwise the entire time and press left button a bunch of the other times. I think if you would speedrun this game I would probably understand way less than I already do, which is not a lot to begin with. So that's maybe not a very good idea. Wait, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I thought we were gonna check out the room and shit. Now we're gonna check this room over here. We, we have already been here. We have already read those letters and shit. Okay, maybe not this book. Maybe not this book. So we're gonna go run to Scotland. Scotland? Scottish? I don't even know the accent. Oh, it's so epic music suddenly. It's so weird. Scottish friends, how do we know they're even gonna help me at all? Like, it's such, that's such a, such a, oh, how do you say that in English? It's such a fucking annama, like, bruh. You can't assume it, you know. You can't just as assume that that's where they'll be and that they're gonna recognize me as, like, his friend and shit, like, bruh. How the fuck are we even supposed to know who to talk to for it, you know? Like if they... Oh, he's still in this house, like, bro. It's pretty sus that he's staying in the apartment. Even supposed to mean, man. So basically, we are on the run. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe not yet. That's where I'm about to be. Oh, uh, what is this? What is this, man? Is, is this his moustache? Oh, no! I pressed outside of the... For fuck's sake. It's so annoying. Dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? Alright, then. Oh, this game is so fucking wack. Alright. So far, I do not, um, uh, what, what's it said, I, d I do not advise you to play this game if you have multiple screens, like for fuck's sake. Well, it's alright, I guess, if you're not recording, but I am recording, so it's pretty annoying when it goes to uh, the Bureau Blayout. Uh, 
and you can see all the nice backgrounds and shortcuts and shit. Which I guess isn't that interesting. Well, no one's gonna see this video anyway, because first of all, the game is getting a little bit boring. And second of all, like, no one's gonna come across this channel anyway, I suppose. Well, I think at least, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm very wrong. What's this? Oh, it's a pocketbook. What does it mean though, man? What does it mean? Oh, man. Skada. Our homeboy. My old chap. Hey. I'm gonna do my best for you. Wish me well. Whatever you are. What if... Okay, I have a theory, theory about the story so far. What if this Henne guy we're playing as is just fucking insane and crazy and he killed him himself in his sleep or some shit? Like, it, it could be possible, you know. It could be a very possible. Or something else in that, in that same uh, street light. Oh. Ooh, next chapter. Let's go. Oh man, I can't wait to finally finish this fucking game. <sighs> like I said in the last video, this is not a game I would normally play out of myself, completely voluntarily. It's like a bit of a... It's like a movie, but kinda worse, because you don't get to see everything. Well, it's not bad or anything, like... Alright, it's surprisingly good, but I just don't understand everything, which makes it harder. Without all of the images, I suppose, you get with a series and shit. So it's a bit tough. Oh, blimey! The milkman! I want a word with you. Y y yes, sir? He's gonna want to milk uh, some people, or is he gonna go to... Alright, so the milkman comes, and we let him inside, and then what? I assume we don't let him see the body, right? I reckon you're a bit of a sportsman, and I want you to do me a service. Lend me your cap and overall for ten minutes, and here's a sovereign for you. Bro, this is just bribery. A bet. I have time to explain, but to win it, I've got to be a milkman for the next ten minutes. And all <laughs> you've got to do is to stay here till I come back. You'll be a bit late, but nobody will complain, and you'll have that quid for yourself. Oh, huh? I ain't the man to spoil a bit of sport. Uh, here's the rig, Gaffer. Here's the rig, Gaffer. Is it like, here's my shit, bro? Oh, so we're just gonna leave him behind, right? Wait, are we gonna put the blame on him? Because that would be very sad. <laughs> oh, that milk card been here before. A loafer. The fuck's a loafer? So he dropped the disguise. That's a bit sad. I gave him good morning. The fuck is that for sentence? Well, I guess it's proper English, cause. This is some sick music though.
information, 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 information. Oh, so we're going to write that uh, illegally to Scotland. Nice. I'm surprised he, they uh, so Jesus Christ. I'm surprised he wasn't uh, thrown off the train or anything because that's usually what happens, right? When you illegally board a train that you're not supposed to be on, then they'll just throw you off. I like how they mark the things you can press. Like it isn't a lot anyway, and it isn't hard to find uh, out what it is anyway. It's so. a sale job catching trains. Oh, he speaks Aye, Scottish now. The impudence of that geared. He needed Bruh. a Scotch tongue to put him in his place. He was complaining of this way and no hain a ticket and her no fever till August 12 month. And he was objecting to this gentleman spitting. What did she even say? Bruh. Alright, interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see. North Robot. Is that supposed to be some uh, king or something? I have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm just gonna. Alright, remember how I said I wasn't gonna speedrun this game? Yeah. I might change that uh, idea. Can you like fill this thing or? Well, I guess not. Hmm, who has gained nothing? Oh. I think he's just thinking way too much behind it. Yeah, I was good at puzzles back in the day. In the meantime, I wasn't able to do anything about the uh, secrets encryption. Maybe they're all just crazy as fuck, man. Uh, a very a useful, I might say. Because he had hoped. Why does he hope he was to be blue? Wait, weren't we supposed to meet some friends with like the guy that got killed? Or am I just misunderstanding things on the Ah, child labor. Nice, nice. 
or anything else to discover here? I guess not. Nope, nothing at all. Same for you, I suppose. So we're now just walking through the wild Scottish nature. Kinda reads like a book, doesn't it? Well, maybe it is because it is based on a book. <sighs> like, okay, on one hand, this game is like boring as fuck because it's so much build up, but on the other hand, it makes it uh, interesting, I suppose. But still, it's. Oh, I would never play this game on my own, like for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> uh, well, at least I'm playing this game so you don't have to, I suppose. No idea who the fuck is gonna watch this, but still. Wait, we're just gonna go back? Bruh, the fuck was the point of... I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Oh. So it just... Oh, we have such a long way to close them. Well, I guess we're getting somewhere, so that's nice. Let's just uh, continue on forward, I suppose. I'm interested to see where this is going. And I hope to finish this within the hour. So yeah. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say, but all of the games I'm gonna play is gonna be... It's gonna be raw. It's gonna be raw as fuck, bro. Gordon Ramsay would be so jealous of it. Holy shit. He would be very angry though, but still. It's gonna be more raw than the raw as chicken he finds every single day in the kitchens. Yeah, no, the thing is, like, I can edit all the games, but then you don't see the important details and shit. And, uh, like the true experience of playing these horrendous as games. You know? So yeah, it's, uh, it's important that uh, you are able to uh, uh, experience the suffering for yourself. So it's quite nice, I suppose. It's quite philosophical. It's quite philosophical as well. Like, oh, we were approaching the station at which I had got out yesterday, so we are literally no further than the day before. Hmm. Okay, then. I don't know what the point of this journey is, but alright. No, but I might stream some parts of games, I suppose. Depending on the games and depending on whether this will ever get some traction, I don't think so, but still, a man can dream, you know, a man can dream. Um, so yeah, I guess this this game play series, playthrough series, is a bit of a um, intro to the challenge, I suppose. Well, we're gonna spend a lot of time uh, playing a lot of bullshit. I like this, but this is uh, the issues I have when I play games for fun. Whew. Can't wait to be forcing myself to play those parts anywhere else. Like, I have some very difficult games in my library, which are not fun to play. And I'm not just talking about Souls games as well. At least. If I play it once, it's alright, I suppose. Quiet, you, you 
You're on a train. East towards okay, I have accidentally Scotland. pressed my right button again from the mouse. So if I release it, we're gonna go back to the main menu, which is fucked up, but still. Alright, let's continue the story. Uh. Oh, I am a strong teetotaler. I, I took the pledge last month and I haven't touched a drop of whiskey since then. Maybe not whiskey, but you need to tell me something else. Oh, I was so tempted. Oh, oh, oh that's what I get. I hit better than hell for Is this like the most understandable, seven. least drunk what Scotsman ever? Or? Yeah. I drink the car, brandy. Ah, uh, brandy. Me being a teetotal, I keep it off the whiskey, but I was always not, not, not there. There's brandy, and I doubt I'll not be wheeled for a fun life. Like, what is our plan anyway? I don't fucking get it anymore. It's so weird. Like, we are so. Okay, I guess we are on the run. Like, from the authorities and shit and whatever. But aren't we supposed. We, we wanted to tell, like, the story. And the. No, the. The. What's it called? The conspiracy theory, right? That was the whole point of everything. So the dog is gonna be a little bitch about it. Where am I? Oh, where am I? He, he's jumped. He, he's jumped his death. <laughs> it's five meters, not anymore, probably. But okay, sure, buddy. What's he talking about? That's quite a diversion, if anything. Like you said. Well, that's uh. I don't get it. He's in the middle of fucking nowhere. What's the point of this? Like, I am generally very confused by the story. I don't get it anymore, man. Well, I get parts of it, I suppose, but why is this necessary? Like, am I just not thinking right about this, or? I mean, I get that he's, he's trying to run away from the people who want to get him dead, you know, to want to kill him, but it's, he's taking it quite far and quite um, irrationally, I suppose. Irrational, however the fuck I'm supposed to say it in English, I suppose. I don't even know. Let's just continue on, I suppose. I think this guy might be just fucking, like, schizophrenic or some shit, you know, like... Oh no, a random ass plane. Like... I understand that he's, like, being hunted and shit. So he's gonna think that they're looking for him, but it's so irrational, I guess. I don't know. Mm. So he came... <coughs> into a town after a little of walking, I suppose. Approach? No, I don't want to approach it. Can I do? No, I clicked out of the game. All right. There's nothing else I can do here. Like this is what I was talking about about making choices. We have not been given any choice whatsoever, and we are st 
already, I think, quite far into the story. But oh well. I, yeah, I, I don't care anyway. It's just. Okay, maybe I do care. What else can I press? Well, nothing, it seems. Oh, here. When a griffin flew the wilderness with winged stick. Good evening to you. It's a fine night for the road. Is that place an inn? At your service. I'm the landlord, sir. Uh. And I hope you will stay the night for, to tell you the truth, I've had no company for a week. And her life, and her life for what? Like, what is he playing, man? To be an innkeeper. My father died a year ago, left me the business. I lived there with my grandmother. It's a slow job for a young man, and it wasn't my choice of profession. Which was? <laughs> I want to write books. <laughs> and what better chance could you ask? Man, I've often thought that an innkeeper would make the best storyteller in the world. Oh, not now. M maybe in the old days when you had pilgrims and ballad makers and highwaymen and mail coaches on the road. But not now. Nothing comes here but motor cars full of fat women who stop for lunch and a fisherman or two in the spring and the shooting tenants in August. There's not much material to be got out of that. I want to see life, to travel the world and write things like Kipling and Conrad. But the most I've done yet is to get some verses printed in Chambers' journal. I've knocked a bit about the world, and I wouldn't despise such a hermitage. Do you think that adventure is only found in the tropics or among gentry in red shirts? Maybe you're rubbing shoulders with it at this moment. That's what Kipling says. <laughs> Brother romance and all unseen bromance brought up the nine. <laughs> bromance, man. Um, nice. Yes. But here's a true tale for you then. And a month from now, you can make a novel out of it. Wait, well, is he gonna tell the entire fucking conspiracy theory? <sighs> it's probably gonna tell us wrong. <laughs> Oh no. Or oh yes, I suppose. Maybe it's gonna be better. Oh, he's just gonna tell about his life, isn't he? Or is this his dad? His papa? His father? His daddy? Hmm. Rich as fuck, probably. Ah, uh, yes. And then he died. Oh, he just runs off. Well, that's not exactly noble, I suppose. <laughs> so much effort for just one guy and his money. He should have just learned Kung Fu in the meantime, like, it's just one guy with a knife and another employer without weapons, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? Or am I just misunderstanding things? Oh wait, it's about us, not his daddy or something. How much heads does he have? Wait, so he's saying that these guys have been hunting him from the beginning of when before he went to fucking You're looking for England? adventure? Well, you found it here. The fuck is the this devils are after about? me and the police are after them. It's a race that I mean to win. Oh, I I got got a story. Is pure Ryder Haggard a Conan oh. Doyle? You believe me? Of course oh, I do. Man. 
I believe everything out of the common. The only thing to distrust is the normal. <sighs> Alright, this story is taking up a lot of my brain cells, which I don't have a lot of, so... I think they're off my track for the moment, but I must lie close for a couple of days. Can you take me in? Oh, he's an innkeeper, so probably yes, right? That's what I thought. I'm really curious where this story is gonna go because I don't understand check shit about it. Well, I. Oh, you know what I mean, I suppose. Because <sighs> what I don't understand about it, well, I don't understand a lot of things about this goddamn story, but one of the things is that in the beginning this guy was like he's the most bored person in entire fucking London, right? And that he wanted more adventure. But does didn't he already have a shit ton of adventure when those thieving guys came after him from when he used to live in Australia? Which is why he came to well I don't I don't even know anymore. Maybe I'm just fucking I don't know. It's all very confusing. Oh man, I'm so fucking over this game already. I really do not... Uh, well, I might write a review after every game, by the way. That's kind of... What do, what do I miss? Oh yeah. I might write a review about every single game I will play, because I think that might be useful for the people who have this game in their inventory as well and are like hmm is this interesting to play and the answer is no it's goddamn boring <laughs> well it's not it's it's in it's it's um a duality i suppose it's a double-edged sword this game yes. because on one side is boring as fuck because it's basically a book but more confusing i suppose and on the other hand, it's... Oh no. Oh yes, that's what I mean. It's like... Yeah, it's boring because it's like a book, but not like a book, because that would be not two boring. Two chaps looking for you. They're in the dining room oh, having whiskeys and sodas. They asked about you and said they'd hope to meet you here. It's just so hard to follow, they actually. You know, that's the point. Well. It's down to your boots and shirt. Damn, son. Oh, for fuck's sake, I misclicked again. Right, so how long are we is this session going? Half an hour. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Not necessarily of this game, because this game fucking sucks. But for future games, we're going to play some Assassin's Creed, Borderlands, Company of Heroes, Command of Conquer, all types of games. All of the games in my goddamn fucking Steam library. So, um, yeah, it would be nice if you could subscribe. And then uh, I uh, will see you guys next time. Maybe at the next game. We'll have to see. So, bye-bye. Uh,